Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Classic Live Album War. Thanks for joining us from all over the globe. You know, we've got people who are tuning in from here in the good old U.S. of A., up in Canada, the U.K. and Europe. All right, we know we got a lot of viewers from Italy and we got from the Far East and all sorts of places, all right? South America, everywhere and everywhere. So uh, thanks for joining us. Today we've got a pretty special live album battle here. We've got two acts from North America, one from Canada, one from the old U.S. of A., from down south, well, kind of like the upper Midwest or mid-Midwest, central Midwest, okay? Uh, both very special bands to me personally, and I love both these albums a lot. So the first one from 1978, Kansas 2 for the show. I'm going to be specifically talking about the... Uh, Remastered reissue, which came out a bunch of years ago. Two-disc set that basically makes this the giant, massive live album that it was always meant to be. Okay, and the other, from 1985, Triumph Stages. Two excellent double albums. Okay, basically showcasing kind of where each band had kind of come from up to that point. So, the Triumph album, again, released in 85, but collects all sorts of live tunes from the early 80s up to that point so the, the meat and potatoes the best of the triumph discography up to that point played live on stage obviously and this album contains some sizzling performances uh recorded from the tour from the year prior all right 1977 uh again the cream of the crop of the kansas material up to that point so in other words from their debut album all the way up to point of no return Okay, which is the classic Kansas years, right? So both of these live albums, very good representations of the classic, classic material of each band. So let's get started. First, we're going to stay here for Kansas. All right, the first one released. I can remember back in the day having this LP, right? You know, you open it up. It's got all these great live photographs, you know, the awesome cover. I mean, how cool is that? Right, and then you had all these great live photos, you know, Kansas at the absolute height of their powers here. All right. Pretty much, I know technically there are others, but pretty much the U.S.'s first major progressive rock band right here, okay? Uh, they got all those classic Kansas albums, you know, the debut, Song for America, Masks, um, you know, uh, Left Overture, Point of No Return. After this, you got Monolith, you know, and a string of other pretty decent albums, right? But those are kind of the cream of the crop of the Kansas discography. What do we got on here? It's just like it's just like a who's who of all the best Kansas tracks on here. Performed impeccably. Sounds great. All right. You leading it all off with Song for America. Killer. Point of No Return. Paradox, which kills on here. Uh, Icarus Born on Wings of Steel. One of my favorite Kansas songs of all time. Incredible on here. Incredible. Uh, Portrait, he knew. Carry on Wayward Son, the big hit. All right. Live takes on a new, totally new personality. Journey from Marybron, great on here. All right, Dust in the Wind, tender, acoustic gem, huge hit for the band. All right, Lonely Wind with a little piano solo, okay. Mysteries and Mayhem, barn burner of a prog rock tune. Excerpt from Lamplight Symphony, The Wall. How gorgeous is The Wall? Amazing on here. You, know, you got to... I'm, Steve Walsh in his prime, along with Robbie Steinhardt. You know, Steve Walsh on keyboards, vocals, Robbie Steinhardt, violin and vocals. Man, what a great one two punch vocal team right there. Uh, and then finishing off disc, disc one on here, okay, which I believe ended the fourth side of vinyl on the original LP, uh, the incredible and lengthy magnum opus, one of their best and biggest and longest epics that they ever recorded okay so on disc two on here uh is all the stuff that should you know this probably should have been a triple album when it was first released so here they throw in they threw in a lot of the tunes that were played throughout that tour all right in addition to what we already knew okay so you've got hopelessly human all right child of innocence another one of my favorite kansas tunes great on here uh Belexis. Uh, Cheyenne Anthem, okay, Lonely Street, Miracles Out of Nowhere, how can you not have Miracles Out of Nowhere, Drum Solo with the Spider, God, 
one of their you know very few and but best instrumental okay very few god how many instrumentals does kansas ever do that might be like the only one maybe they did one other right that's amazing and then closet chronicles which was actually on the original double lp set but not added to the original cd release because of time constraints that couldn't fit it all in one cd Okay, should have just released two, damn it, right? Uh, what else we got? Down the Road, Bluesy Hard Rocker, uh, Sparks of the Tempest, great tune from the Point of No Return album, and then bringing it back to finish it all off. So, you know, with the, the reissue, with all these extra tunes, this is like unstoppable. Unstoppable. I kind of think you know where I'm going with all this, right? So let's move over to the Triumph album. All right, again, I was big into this. I was a huge Triumph fan. I saw them live from, I think, from the Allies Forces tour all the way through to, like, um, God, as long as Rick Emmett was in the band, I saw them every tour. Once he was gone, that's kind of when I stopped. They know they put out one more album with uh, the guy who eventually, uh, Phil X or whatever his name is, who eventually went on to play with Bon Jovi. Uh, I saw them on every tour. I really love Triumph a lot. Uh, again, different beats. You got more of a prog band and kind of, you know, and while Triumph did a little bit of proggy stuff here and there, they were just a really good hard rock band, uh, arena rock band type of thing. Uh, obviously from Canada, great guitar playing, you know, dual vocalist. Again, both bands kind of similar in that they had two really strong lead vocalists uh, and a powerhouse uh, drummer and bass player. Okay. So when the lights go down, kick it all off. Really good bluesy heavy rock tune right uh then the majestic never surrender never surrender is incredible on here love Emmett's vocals on that uh hold on another anthem from the band uh magic power okay here a little little lengthier right but still really really good the band's biggest hit single uh rock and roll machine 10 minutes plus blistering early tune from the band that features in the middle a barnstorming blazing lead guitar solo from mr rick Emmett. I remember being a kid, we used to play Rock and Roll Machine from this album all the time just to hear that crazy guitar solo, right? Uh, then, of course, you got Lay It On The Line, one of their early hits, okay? A great arena rock tune. Uh, World of Fantasy, another kind of hit for the band later on, right? Early, mid-80s. Great tune, really good on here. Uh, Midsummer's Daydream, a little acoustic piece from Mr. Emmett. Uh, then you got Spellbound, good driving hard rock tune. Okay, with um, On the Drums, Mr. Gilmore on vocals. Uh, Follow Your Heart comes up next. Another great, instantly memorable hard rock arena rock tune. You know, Triumph had so many, just uh, catchy as all hell, hard rock tunes. That's so many of them. Fight the Good Fight, okay? My all-time favorite Triumph song. Anthem to End All Anthems. Then you got two at the, at the back end of the CD. They threw in two new studio tracks. You got Mind Games, which I like a lot, and Empty Inside. Not as successful on that one, but I, I like Mind Games a lot. But, you know, the first 11 tracks, all live, all great. You got all, you know, arguably most of their most memorable tunes. And it's just boom, 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 boom. One, like, kind of hit after another. You know, one catchy chorus after another with nice big fat riffs and blazing solos and thumping rhythms you know the dual lead vocalist thing it's just a cracking live album that it's just if this you know you want an introduction to to triumph this is what you do this is what you go for this will give you a sampling of all of their like major tunes and then you go back and discover the albums because they don't have a lot of albums right so it's like you can easily get through the triumph discography uh in short stages uh but this will be a great introduction to anybody who hasn't listened to triumph so really good again more of like a just a good arena hard rock band okay with little proggy touches here and there wouldn't never call them metal right they really never were a metal band uh but great guitar work okay great lead vocals so, as you can tell, I love both of these, right? I really do. Uh, however, for me, if I had to choose between the two of them, and that's what we're doing, right? We're all having to choose to see which of these make it to the second round of our classic live album tournament. Uh, for me, it's got to be this one. E you know, even in its original double album form, I'm going to go with this one. But seeing as my CD is now, you know, two for the show on complete jacked steroids, uh, this is probably about a sixth or seventh round knockout, okay, for, for Kansas. Uh, I just, you know, when it comes down to it, 
I'm a, I'm a bit of a bigger Kansas fan than Triumph, even though I love Triumph and I've been listening to Triumph since like, you know, 1980, 81, something like that. Um, I just, you know, Kansas is a really, really special band for me. And this is one of the unsung live albums in all of rock history. Uh, it's just a great one. And it just, just perfectly kind of pulls together m almost all of their greatest material in one live album. This does too, but this for me is a little bit more special. So I'm going to go with this one today. Like I said, seventh round KO, but try and put up a really good fight. Okay. So it gets my vote. So curious to see what you guys think. Uh, remember in the little, in the upper right hand corner of this video, you'll see a little white circle with a letter I in the middle of it. Click on that. You'll get to choose a little poll between trying for Kansas here. Also go, please vote on our Facebook page. You can vote either or, or both, whatever you like. Uh, just make sure you vote at least once because still we've got thousands of people watching these videos and I'm getting like a fraction of people voting. So, you know, I had a lot of people complain initially on that they don't have Facebook accounts. They didn't want to go to Facebook to vote. Why can't we vote on YouTube? And I'm giving everybody the option and I'm seeing like, you know, 2,000, 3,000 hits on a video and 100 votes. So something's not adding up here, right? People are not voting. So please do vote uh, if you care. If you don't care, well, then don't vote. What can I tell you? But don't, you know... Don't whine when uh, your favorite of these doesn't make it to the second round. You're like, oh, I can't believe that such and such, you know, beat whatever. Well, you didn't vote, so don't complain. All right, so I'm giving you the option to vote in both places. So let's make these votes count. Let's keep them, the numbers kind of healthy. So it's actually, you know, some really good battling going on here because uh, we want we want to see the your favorites advance to the next round. That's just what this is all about. We're we're trying the the goal here is to crown your favorite live album of all time okay so we're gonna this is gonna take us up through the end of the year probably uh we're gonna keep going with it so uh what else hey jason morris thank you for the shirt my friend appreciate it appreciate that and cds got a nice little package from jason the other day sending me some cool stuff uh jason morris if you live in the upstate new york area he's got a martial arts school and studio go check it out all right whether you're interested in yourself or maybe you got kids who are interested or family members go check it out um this is on the web at www.catranquility.org we're on facebook we're on twitter of course we're here on youtube every day uh, i am going to be away for half a day tomorrow full day wednesday and thursday i'm going to new york city for a conference for work for a couple days so i'm probably going to be recording a few of these classic live album wars tonight and first thing tomorrow morning and i'm just going to post them out there so at least you have some content for the next couple days and then come uh friday I'll get back on the regular daily schedule, okay? So be on the lookout for all sorts of cool stuff. Got some other great wars coming up in the days and weeks ahead, so don't miss out. We've got uh, we've got a really good amount. We've got a, a, a really good amount. That doesn't make sense. We've got a good amount of uh, battles that haven't happened yet. We've also got, I've got all my winners so far from the first round that have actually, how it works is each battle, the poll will run for six days on the Facebook page. That's when I do the cutoff. Okay, I take the results from the Facebook page. And at that sixth day, I take the results from the, the YouTube channel video. So if you're voting, it's been two weeks since the video posted and you're voting, I'm not counting it anymore at that time. So basically, I'm each, each one, each battle has six days. That's when I'm taking the count, and that's when it goes into my spreadsheet as the winner advances to the second round. Okay, so that's kind of how the whole thing works behind the scenes. So uh, we've got all of our winners so far. we got all the ones who have yet to compete, and uh, we'll see where it all goes. Who's going to win? Nobody knows, right? But uh, just keep voting, and we'll see at the end of this long road, which is your favorite live album of all time. So we'll see you again later, all right? Probably later tonight and tomorrow morning and later in the week, and uh, have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.